Hello and welcome to my channel where I share with you some of the best tips and tricks on how to live a healthy and happy life. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a topic that may surprise you, but trust me, it's worth your attention. I'm going to talk about Brahmacharya, which means celibacy or self-restraint, and how it can help you achieve spiritual growth, physical health, mental clarity, creativity, and happiness. Do you want to know how to practice Brahmacharya and what are the benefits of it? Then keep watching this video till the end. Brahmacharya is an ancient concept that is derived from the Sanskrit words Brahma, which means the supreme reality, and Charya, which means conduct or behavior. Brahmacharya is one of the four stages of life in Hinduism, where one renounces worldly pleasures and devotes oneself to spiritual pursuits. However, Brahmacharya is not just for monks or ascetics, it is also a universal principle that can be applied by anyone who wants to live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Brahmacharya is not just about abstaining from sexual activity, although that is a part of it. It is also about controlling and channeling your vital energy, or prana, which is the life force that animates everything in the universe. By practicing brahmacharya, you can conserve and enhance your prana and use it for higher purposes such as self-realization, creativity and service to others. Brahmacharya has many benefits for your body, mind and soul. Some of the benefits are increased energy. By practicing brahmacharya, you can avoid wasting your energy on unnecessary or harmful activities and instead use it for more productive and positive ones. You can also boost your energy by breathing deeply, eating well and exercising regularly. Mental Clarity By practicing Brahmacharya, you can calm your mind and reduce the distractions and temptations that cloud your judgment and focus. You can also sharpen your mind by meditating, reading and learning new things. Creativity By practicing Brahmacharya, you can unleash your creative potential and express yourself in various ways, such as writing, painting, music or any other form of art. You can also stimulate your creativity by exploring new ideas, perspectives and experiences. Happiness by practicing Brahmacharya, you can cultivate a sense of inner peace and joy that is not dependent on external factors or circumstances. You can also increase your happiness by being grateful, compassionate and generous. So, how can you practice Brahmacharya in your daily life? Here are some of the basic rules of Brahmacharya that you can follow. Avoid lustful thoughts, words and actions. Lust is the biggest enemy of Brahmacharya, as it consumes your energy and distracts you from your higher goals. To avoid lust, you need to be mindful of what you see, hear, say and do. You need to avoid watching, reading or listening to anything that arouses your sexual desire, such as pornography, erotic novels or suggestive songs. You also need to avoid speaking or acting in a way that provokes or indulges your sexual desire, such as flirting, teasing or touching. Instead, you need to focus on the positive and noble qualities of yourself and others and respect them as human beings, not as objects of pleasure. Keep good company. The people you associate with have a huge influence on your thoughts, feelings and actions. To practice Brahmacharya, you need to surround yourself with people who share your values and aspirations and who support and inspire you to grow and improve. You need to avoid people who are negative, immoral or corrupt and who drag you down or tempt you to do wrong. Instead, you need to seek the company of people who are positive, moral and virtuous and who lift you up and motivate you to do good. Meditate regularly. Meditation is one of the best ways to practice Brahmacharya as it helps you to calm your mind, control your senses and connect with your true self. By meditating regularly, you can increase your awareness, concentration and intuition 
and gain insight into the nature of reality and your purpose in life. You can also experience a state of bliss and harmony that transcends the physical and mental realms. To meditate, you need to find a quiet and comfortable place. Sit in a relaxed and upright posture, close your eyes and focus on your breath, a mantra or an object of your choice. You need to observe your thoughts and emotions without judging or reacting to them and let them go. You need to meditate for at least 10 minutes every day, preferably in the morning or evening, and gradually increase the duration and intensity of your practice. Practice moderation in food, sleep and entertainment. Food, sleep and entertainment are essential for your well-being, but they can also become sources of attachment, indulgence and addiction. You need to eat healthy and nutritious food that nourishes your body and mind, and avoid junk food that harms your health and dulls your senses. You need to eat only when you are hungry, and stop when you are full. You need to sleep enough to rest and rejuvenate your body and mind, and avoid sleeping too much or too little. You need to enjoy entertainment that enriches your life and uplifts your spirit, and avoid entertainment that degrades your life and lowers your vibration. You need to enjoy entertainment only when you need a break or a reward, and not as a means of escape or distraction. Besides these rules, there are also some practices that can help you cultivate brahmacharya. Some of these practices are yoga, Yoga is a system of physical, mental and spiritual exercises that originated in India and aims to harmonize your body, mind and soul. Yoga consists of various postures or asanas that stretch and strengthen your muscles, joints and organs and improve your flexibility, balance and coordination. Yoga also includes various breathing techniques or pranayamas that regulate and enhance your prana or vital energy and calm your nervous system. Yoga also includes various gestures or mudras that channel your prana to different parts of your body and mind and activate your chakras or energy centers. Yoga also includes various locks or bandhas that control the flow of your prana and prevent it from leaking out. By practicing yoga, you can improve your physical and mental health and prepare your body and mind for meditation and brahmacharya. Mantra. Mantra is a sacred sound, word or phrase that is repeated verbally or mentally and that has a specific meaning and vibration. Mantra is used to focus your mind, invoke a deity, or manifest a desired outcome. Mantra can also be used to practice brahmacharya as it helps you to purify your mind, elevate your consciousness, and transform your energy. By repeating a mantra, you can create a positive and powerful sound vibration that resonates with your inner self and the universe, and that attracts the qualities and blessings of the mantra. Some of the mantras that can help you practice Brahmacharya are Om Om is the most universal and sacred mantra as it represents the sound of creation and the essence of everything. Om is also the seed sound of the third eye chakra which is the center of intuition, wisdom and vision. By chanting Om you can connect with your higher self and the supreme reality and transcend the duality and illusion of the world. Take long breath in and chant and hum this mantra by closing your lips. In this way, you can repeat this seven to ten times at a time. Om Aryamaya Nama Om Aryamaya Nama is a mantra that honors and invokes Aryama Deity, who is the chief deity of our ancestors as per Hinduism. Aryama Deity is also the Lord of Lifestyle and Thoughts and the Protector of Brahmacharya as he removes negative thoughts, lustful distraction and showers spiritual thoughts. By chanting Om Aryamaya Nama, you can invoke the grace and protection of Deity and overcome the obstacles and challenges of Brahmacharya. Fasting Fasting is the practice of abstaining from food, drink 
or other substances for a certain period of time, usually for religious, health or ethical reasons. Fasting can also be used to practice brahmacharya as it helps you to cleanse your body and mind and discipline your senses and desires. By fasting, you can detoxify your system, boost your immunity and improve your digestion. You can also reduce your attachment to food and increase your awareness of your hunger and satiety signals. You can also sharpen your mind and enhance your spiritual sensitivity and receptivity. Fasting can be done in various ways, such as Water fasting Water fasting is the most extreme and challenging form of fasting, where you only consume water and nothing else. Water fasting can last from a few hours to a few days, depending on your purpose and condition. Water fasting can have many benefits. Juice fasting. Juice fasting is a more moderate and popular form of fasting, where you only consume fresh fruit and vegetable juices and water. Juice fasting can last from a few hours to a few weeks, depending on your goal and preference. Juice fasting can provide you with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and enzymes and help you hydrate and nourish your body and mind. Juice fasting can also help you lose weight, improve your skin and boost your energy. Intermittent fasting Intermittent fasting is a more flexible and sustainable form of fasting where you alternate between periods of eating and fasting usually within a 24-hour cycle. Intermittent fasting can have different patterns, such as 16.8, where you fast for 16 hours and eat for 8 hours, or 5.2, where you eat normally for 5 days and fast for 2 days. Intermittent fasting can help you regulate your appetite, metabolism, and hormones, and improve your health and longevity. Intermittent fasting can also help you practice brahmacharya, as it can reduce your cravings, increase your willpower, and enhance your awareness. Intermittent fasting can be adapted to your lifestyle and preferences, and can be combined with other forms of fasting. These are some of the practices that can help you practice brahmacharya, but they are not the only ones. You can also practice brahmacharya by doing other activities that enrich your life and elevate your spirit such as volunteering, traveling, gardening, or anything else that brings you joy and fulfillment. Temptations. Temptations are everywhere and they can be hard to resist, especially in the modern world where sex and sensuality are glorified and normalized. To overcome temptations, you need to be vigilant and mindful of your thoughts, feelings and actions and avoid anything that triggers or feeds your lust. You also need to remember your higher purpose and goal and the benefits of brahmacharya and use them as motivation and inspiration to stay on track. I hope this video has given you some useful information and inspiration on how to practice brahmacharya and why you should try it. Brahmacharya is not a restriction or a deprivation, but a liberation and a celebration. It is a way of living that can help you discover and unleash your true potential and live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.